All right, so what we want to do first is we want to zoom in and out through these clips. First, pre comp each shot separately. Next, turn them into a 3D layer. I have four shots that I'll be using, so I'll turn 3D on all of them. If you don't see it, just click on toggle switches and it should appear. Now we'll create a camera and you can trim it like this and duplicate it three more times, in my case, because I have four clips in total. So duplicate it for each pre-composed clip that you have. Trim each camera so it matches the pre-composed clip and make sure that it's above the clips. I want the transition to go like this. I want it to zoom in on the first shot, then zoom out on the second, then zoom in and again zoom out. So click on the first camera layer and keyframe the position at the start, then move at the end and click on 4 views and then drag the right wheel layer like this so it zoom in in your clip. So click on the second camera, keyframe the position and move it to the end. Then at the start drag the right side of your 4 views mode and zoom in. Click on the third layer and repeat the steps from the first one and for the last one we'll repeat the steps from the second one. Highlight all of the keyframes, right click and go to Easy Ease. Turn on motion blur on all pre-composed clips, create an adjustment layer, drag it at the top and add sapphire distort. If you don't have the sapphire plugin, you can use something like turbulent displays. Create a mask around the subject, increase the feather a bit and click on inverted. That way distort effect will show on the background only. Create a new adjustment layer and add CC Fast Blur and leave the blur to 50 as it is. Again, create a mask around the subject, increase the feather and click on Invert it. Create one more adjustment layer and apply CC Lens. Change it as you want, I'll write down my settings in the description if you're interested. And again, I created a mask and I changed the mask size throughout the layer because the subject is in different sizes with each clip. Ok, now we'll create this effect. First thing that we are going to do is rotoscope the subject. When you're done, click on freeze, duplicate the rotoscope clip and delete the roto brush from the bottom clip. Scale down both clips to around 60%, duplicate the rotoscope clip once again and you can change the layer color if it's easier for you to follow that way. Add sapphire RGB effect on the clip that's in the middle and scale it up so you can see the edges. Go to distort effect and change the colors, increase the amount and basically play around with the settings until you're happy with how it looks. If you don't have the sapphire plugin you can add turbulent displays and tint as an alternative for sapphire distort. Keyframe amount to zero at the start, go at the end and increase it. That way we have a little bit of animation to our background. Highlight keyframes and go to easy ease. Apply transform on the bottom clip, keyframe scale at the start as it is, then go at the end and decrease it. Last thing that I'm going to do is add this film overlay, enable motion blur on the background clip and add turbulent displays. Keyframe the amount to zero at the start, move at the end and decrease it. And that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like, that way more people can see it. And make sure to subscribe because I post this type of tutorials every week.